as robotics and AI take over the workplace, eliminate jobs, what are you going to be doing all day? Hey, I'm John Harris, and this is the Exponential Entrepreneur Academy coming to you live from our home studio. Look, we're talking about creating and designing an exponential lifestyle, and it's a very, very important subject because we may end up in a few short years on a universal wage or perhaps get paid for a, a unit of work by the machine or machines we own. They do the work and they free us up to do the things we want to do. So the real question is this, is what is it that we're going to do? I mean, how do we structure our time? We already know that if you uh, have a lot of free time on your hands and you don't do anything, you start, that energy builds up and you start to do negative things. Possibly uh, things that are criminal. Um, it can create a lot of problems. We've seen in the world, if you're people without purpose, that aren't driven, that aren't growing, that aren't striving, it is that strife that actually develops us and helps us grow. If they're not doing it, they're not happy. And they start to do um, some serious things that uh, are negative and have negative consequences. So it's going to be very, very important as we go forward, the psychology of what we're going to be doing on a daily basis. And I thought we could look at things where we understand that when we design this lifestyle, we need to know, are we going to start doing things, the creative things that we enjoy, writing, um, doing things like reading, travel, doing painting, creating music. I know AI is going to interfere here. I, when I say interfere, it's going to take over and be able to do all of these things. We need to understand that AI, once it hits a singularity, it will go beyond that. So it's not only going to be as intelligent as human, it's going to be a lot more, a magnitude more intelligent. And if we're not part of that journey, we know that Elon and the guys are trying to make us part of that journey to democratize it with Neuralink. But the bottom line is we're going to have this free time and we're going to have to think of ways of how we're going to structure our time in a meaningful way, in a way that creates growth still for us. And it's not that we can't do these things. AI will do them, but maybe we can do them together and that will help us tremendously. So let's just look at um, some of the things that we, we can think about. The, there will be new jobs coming up. So it's not that every job and all at once is going to disappear. We know this is going to take a few decades. We also know that in the next five years, there's going to be big, big, big changes coming through. So it's going to start, and it has started. Robotics have taken over a lot of jobs. So that's going to continue. But I mean, hey, we could have our own autonomous space vehicle collecting space junk. Could be out there in space bringing it back and selling it. I mean, there will be a lot of jobs that come about that we haven't yet thought of. Um, so we need to understand, even for corporates, all technology, as far as I can see, is driving down towards the individual, is empowering the individual. It's a massive lever that an individual can wield. So will big corporations be able to compete with a fully integrated AI individual with robotics, with machinery? Um, how are they going to make it any different or any better, the experience of what they're doing? And so, so it's time to look at that schedule. Uh, we'll go over this more in the next episode, but what time should you get up? Or shouldn't you get up in the day if you, if you don't have to? Is that good for you? If you don't have to get up, um, in, if you do get up and do what you want to do, how's that going to help you? I mean, are you just going to sit and eat chocolate all day? You can see it's going to mean that we're going to need more discipline, but we're going to need to have bigger problems to solve and perhaps um, us moving into, into space and becoming star people isn't such a bad idea because I think we're going to need to have great so problems to solve and solutions to create to drive us. I don't think we will ever be able to compete head on with AI. So although it will be a challenge, I don't think we're going to be capable of it. It's a machine. I think we have to work with it and we have to solve problems with it. Whether it's in health, whatever industry it's in, we need to be working with it. Our lives are going to extend as well. So we've got a lot of things to think about. We're going to be able to do what we want to do in the day. <clears throat> we need to then think, okay, let's do something that we, we have discipline and growth and, so, and some, some purpose to it. Um, and then we're going to start living to 200 years and further out. So there are huge challenges coming up with this extended life and this freedom. Although these may sound great and probably are great, we're going to have to figure out how we're going to structure time, a unit of time. Our time is going to become very, very important to have structured in a disciplined way or else we're going to have huge psychological problems on the planet. So I hope that's been interesting and I'd like you to let us know what you're going to do as far as uh, contributing to our lifestyle, your ideas on how we can create a lifestyle, what time we should get up in the morning, what we should be doing, how we're going to discipline ourselves and how we're going to move forward. Remember, you can always follow us, like us uh, and subscribe to us and uh, we will see you in the next episode.